Working your core is hard and sometimes it's just not that fun. So in today's video, I've designed a non-traditional core practice that uses both your body and your mind. Now is the time to make the time. Begin in reclined position on your back with your knees bent. Walk your heels out a couple inches in front of your knees and lift your toes up. Tuck your tailbone under, arms to your sides, and lift your hips up, squeezing at the top. Slowly lower and inhale, rise. Exhale, lower and inhale, lift. Continue to move the pace of your breath, pressing into your heels and your arms to lift just a little bit higher. a couple more lifting and lowering inhale squeeze exhale release and then we're gonna hold at the top here chest is open maybe walking your shoulders in just a little bit take a deep breath in and on your exhale slowly lower your hips down knees to chest we're gonna rock back and up into a boat pose so balancing on your sit bones Lean back, roll the shoulders back, lifting up through the chest and collarbone. Tuck the tailbone under. Lift your heels up and reach your arms out in front of you. Good. Feel the strength in the core. Inhale, lean back, straighten your legs and hover your body half boat. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, squeeze and lift. You can always place your hands on the mat for more balance and stability if you need it. Really focusing on moving through the core. So you're squeezing your abdominals as you lift and as you lower. Good, continue to move through. Feeling strength in the core center, igniting and balancing our third chakra, our chakra of adaptability. Hold your boat pose. Keep your chest lifted. You can always grab the back of the knees, drop the toes, straighten your legs. A lot of different options here for you. Nice deep breath in. And then release your feet down to the mat. Plant your hands behind you about six inches. Fingers point forward or slightly outward. Plant down through your feet. Now lift your hips into a reverse tabletop position, tucking the tailbone under. Sweep your hips back without dropping them to the ground and tuck your chin. Inhale, lift back up to your tabletop and exhale. It's Dandasana with the hips lifted. Inhale, lift and exhale, sweep it back, chin to chest. Good. When you take it back to Dandasana, really press through the hands. Rock the tailbone under, feeling that strength through the belly. Inhaling. Good. Exhaling. Anytime you need to take a break, feel free to rest and come back in when you're ready. Good. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Strengthen. Inhale. Lift. Now on this last one, we're just going to hold right here. Push into your hands, chin to chest. Good. Breathing. And lower down. Come into a tabletop position. Tuck your toes under and lift your knees to downward facing dog. Push into your hands and let your chest sink down. Good, step your left foot to the center of the mat and then inhale, lift your right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip, explore just a little bit of openness here and then step your foot forward into a crescent lunge. Arms rise up towards the sky. Tuck the tailbone, pull the belly in. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, fold and sweep your arms behind you. Inhale up and exhale, fold and sweep. Now continue to move with the breath and really focus again. This is where the mind comes into this practice. We're moving from the core, moving from the abdominals, right? When we bring our mind into our muscles, we get more results. That sensation heightens. The energy moves to that space. Good, inhale and exhale. 
reaching up sweep behind good reach up this time we're going to plant the hands down walk the hands forward lift your left leg let's come to half moon pose left hand to left hip roll the left side open reach your left arm up towards the sky try to stack your shoulders and your hips keep your lifted leg nice and straight straight and flex the foot pushing through the heel and lengthening through the crown of your head you might even want to see if you can lighten the weight in your right hand maybe even taking the right hand to your heart hold and breathe one more inhale and on your exhale release the left hand down step the left foot back we're coming to side plank right foot steps back right arm reaches up lift your hips up you can stack your feet or you can railroad track your feet we're going to reach the right hand under the ribs and inhale open it up exhale under and inhale open good continue to move again the more you bring the energy to your midsection the more you're going to feel the more you're going to strengthen good exhale under inhale open one more reach under now inhale open and hold it here you can lift the top leg up for more you can drop your bottom knee for a little less you decide and exhale release the right hand down and lift your hips up to downward facing dog find your breath feel the body observe sensation step your right foot into the center and inhale the left leg up now bend the knee open the hip and then exhale step on through for crescent lunge inhale arms rise to the sky exhale we're hovering and sweeping again the tailbone tucks under the low belly pulls in and you're moving from the midsection inhaling as you rise and exhaling as you lower our third chakra balances our ego increases our confidence and gives us drive and determination to keep moving forward exhale and inhale one more inhale the arms up now plant the hands lift the back leg for half moon rise up on your fingertips right hand to right hip roll open through the right side and reach your right arm up squeeze your thighs move the energy in opposite directions through the crown of the head and through the sole of the foot good keep that low belly drawn in And notice the small movements you're making to strengthen all the muscle groups. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, release the hand, step the right foot back. Let's take side plank, left foot back, left arm to the sky. Hips lift, tailbone tucks. Feet can stack or railroad track those feet. And exhale, reach under, inhale, open up. Beautiful. It's all about connecting with the breath because when we connect with the breath, it means we're present in the moment and we're really focusing on how we're moving our muscles and um, exactly what our bodies need. Good, inhale and exhale. Good, lift up, reach under. We're gonna hold it this time. Option to lift the top leg or to drop your back knee. Good, keep those hips lifted, tailbone rocking down, chin away from your chest. Let's take a nice deep breath in and exhale, release, downward facing dog. Stretch it out, pedal out through your heels, lift your tailbone, press your heels down, and then drop your knees down. Walk your wrists under your shoulders and come into a cat stretch. Press away through the hands, round the back, and drop the chin towards your chest. From here, with your toes tucked under, you're lifting your knees up. Now push away strongly through the upper body. 
low belly pulled in. Find your breath. A deep breath in. Let's take downward facing dog. Lift your knees up. Lift your hips up. Good. Now inhale, shift forward into a plank and drop your hips to an up dog, keeping your toes tucked under. Exhale, come back to your downward facing. Do that again, inhale, lift your heart, and exhale, lift your hips. Keep the belly nice and strong, good. Moving breath with body. Inhale, lower the hips, lift the heart, and exhale, lift the hips, and lower the heart. Now, from here, you're just gonna drop the hips down, untuck your toes, and find a back bend that suits you. You might wanna walk your hands out, or drop onto your elbows, or upward facing dog, might have been just what you need. I'd feel the stretch in the belly and the front of the spine. One more breath in. Lower your chest all the way down. Press into your hands and come in to child's pose. Feel the energy from the core as it radiates out through the rest of your body, fueling the energy for you to move about your day. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Namaste.